everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working inside. We've had several days of rain outside, which has been kind of a welcome relief from working on that wood pile. Uh, it's not my favorite job in the world, and it's nice to be able to take a break from that. What I'm working on today uh, is these, uh, these windows. If you recall, uh, not too long ago, I was doing these uh, kind of uh, trim pieces around the windows that allows me to put the... Uh, the blinds on because I can attach those on. I've got uh, the entire first floor done and the entire second floor done on the front face of the house. All the privacy windows, the important privacy windows, uh, you know, so again we don't get uh, shot by a sniper from the woods, are, are all done. The only two windows uh, which we could be sniped through are these two right up here and that's why I've got the ladder here. I'm um, just working on those. It, it, same process as before except it's like, you know, it's up on a ladder so it's more awkward. I pre-cut all of the pieces that are going to be going uh, up and around there. So I've got the two sides here. I've got all the tops. The tops are the one variable uh, where uh, you know, each of the little window bays are slightly different and the, uh, the one around the stairs is like an extra inch wider uh, to accommodate the width of the stairs. Uh, but you know, it's pretty quick because I've got all the stuff pre-cut, pre-sanded and I just have to kind of trim the top piece to uh, be the right size. So I'm going to be doing that, but before I end this video I want to show you guys something I discovered back in the, uh, the pantry room over here. Let's go into the pantry. Uh, I have been keeping uh, track of the temperature in here. I've got a th uh, thermometer on the wall right here and all winter we were reading a pretty nice like 60, 64 degrees or so, maybe going up to 65, but like somewhere in that area. I'd love the pantry to be like 55 degrees, um, but you know, 65 was, you know, that's cool. Um, not literally cool, but like, uh, you know, uh, acceptable. But now that it's summertime, uh, the temperature in here is getting a little higher. Uh, what do we got today? A little over 70. We're kind of pushing 72 at this point. That's not really ideal for a pantry. So I, I was starting to wonder, it's like, well, where's the heat coming from? Because a lot of times it'd be warmer in here than it was out here. So there's some kind of a heat source from in here. Now, uh, the obvious thing is we've got the water heater right here. So I took a thermal camera. I've got a thermal camera that hooks up to an iPhone. I don't actually use an iPhone, but I bought an old iPod. Is that what they call them? iTouch. One of those, uh, like, uh, like it was kind of like the second generation of like iPods from uh, Apple. iTouch, and it has a uh, little lightning connection that I can put a uh, uh, FLIR, FLIR, I don't know how to pronounce it, the company's name, but they do thermal imaging stuff. It's got a little add-on, you can pop the camera on, and you can kind of look around and see, you know, where's your heat coming from? Well, you know, not surprisingly, yeah, there was some heat coming from here. Uh, I put some extra insulation around some of these pipes, and I want to bring the insulation up even higher. I, um, I started them with uh, just foam, uh, you know, pipe insulation, but I've been wrapping them in this kind of fiberglass stuff with a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, reflective barrier, which is actually kind of the opposite because, you know, you want to keep the heat on the inside, not the outside. Though I, I'm sure it reflects onto the inside too. Um, so I, I did a little bit of that, but where I uh, found that the, I think the majority of our heat is coming from is actually this freezer unit right here, and I can feel it right on the front face. Uh, I brought, brought the unit in here, scanned around. The front face of that, the entire front face, is almost 90 degrees. Um, that's a lot of warmth. Now, my original plan on uh, creating this room was that there would actually be a wall here, a thermal barrier wall that would keep utilities uh, compartmentalized in here, and then pantry, uh, you know, its own thing. Now, I kind of set that aside. I wasn't jumping right in on that, but, uh, you know, at this point, it's got me thinking maybe I should build that wall because there is a lot of warmth being generated in this area, and I don't want it down over here. Now, I could take the warmth from here and maybe find some way of creatively kind of like venting it up into some other room or something like that. You know, in the winter, you'd want to benefit from that heat, but you certainly don't want it in your pantry. You don't want it warming up your food. So, that's just another example is as you do things, you know, you find little mistakes and things that you could improve, and you want to stay flexible and be able to you know, fix those things as you go along. That's it. Thanks for watching.